Welcome to ID&D's first spring 2017 tip of the week. You might not know that my classes is updated every three weeks with enhancements, fixes, or new features. The weekend of January 28, 2017 is one of those weekends and just in time for the spring 2017 semester. In this video, we will highlight some of the changes to my classes. The first change is that the dashboard will now display up to 20 courses. This is an increase from 12 during the fall 2016 semester. If you don't see a course on your dashboard, you can always go to all courses from the global navigation. Click on courses, scroll down, and then click on all courses. You can also decide to favorite some of your courses that you want to appear on the dashboard so that not all courses will appear. Another change that was made is that we have removed the dates from our terms within my classes. Faculty who had courses with incompletes were experiencing problems extending quizzes. So we have removed the dates from the term because we do have course dates at the section level. With this change though, you may see new to-do items from past semesters. Click the X next to the to-do list item and it will remove it from the dashboard. During the fall 2016 semester, you might have missed the following updates to Canvas. For past courses, faculty are now able to view course analytics. In group assignments, faculty can now enable peer reviews and restrict it to be within the group itself using the intra-group option. When working in question banks and selecting the show question details, the correct answer indicator will now display within the questions. And courses using the attendance tool, students can view their attendance as part of the assignment submission details page. Let's move on to the new features for spring 2017. The first new feature is for faculty who you're using a front page for their course home page. You now will have the ability to display announcements. Go to settings on the course details tab, select more options, and then select option to show recent announcements on the course home page. By going back to the home page, you will see that the three announcements are available and expanding the announcement will show the details. A new faculty time-saving feature is the introduction of the contact card. In People, faculty can click the name of a student to see a quick glimpse of the student's activity, including their current grade, number of missing assignments, and late assignments. The contact card also provides quick access to the student's individual grade view of the gradebook. This individual view is great when meeting with a student to discuss their progress in their course. It also provides quick access to the analytics page for the student where you can view the dates of their activity, communication, and submissions. Course Copy has some new features such as the ability to easily select a course as they are listed by terms, the ability for interactive score content to copy over, and permissions for embedded Panopto recordings being granted to students in the new semester. Icons within Canvas have a new look for the new year. The most dramatic changes were the assignment and the quiz icons. Sorry, A and Q, your letters have been removed. Our last new feature is the new Canvas Commons, Open Education Resources Repository. You have the ability to search and import content into your course. For example, need the official SU Office of Disability Support Services statement? We have it right here for you. The Canvas Commons will be highlighted and explored at our February My Classes Users Group meeting on February 8, 2017. Come and join us to learn more. Thank you for watching this What's New for Spring 2017 Tip of the Week. If you have any questions about information highlighted in this video, 
please contact us in ID&D.